Good morning. It is still hot out here. <laughs> um, better go feed the animals. So I thought I would go ahead and take you guys along and show you some of the stuff that we've done. Look at that. Sun. Just a peek of, oh, I looked right at it. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's get everybody fed. Hold on. So here is one, and these two girls that we gave them are Stupid's uh, daughters. They are the exact same thing as the ones in here, um, which are the California... Yeah, the California whites. They're, the hens are white with black dots. So these two in here that came with the breasts are not truly breasts. They're actually intermixed. So, But I'm pretty confident both males are purebred. Um, over here is we turned this into Donald's um, little duck pen. Um, <laughs> he is so happy with the results. We have, um, we found out the rooster in the back, which is the, um, brown and white, uh, chicken in the back is a rooster. It's a bantam. And then we also have Donald's naked necks in here. Um, we have seen... At least three of these ducks are males, and these are call ducks. The white one here, um, I've actually been, I've seen several times having sexy time with the other females, so we're expecting eggs soon from these guys, and we're excited about that. Aren't they so pretty? They're just so pretty. And then Stupid's crew is doing great. They're in here. I'm not gonna let them out just yet. They gotta finish their breakfast. What's wrong, stupid? Alrighty. Then over here, we have the last of the chickens. Now they're still a little bit too small to go into the regular cages just yet. Um, because they can fit through the holes. But we think these two guys, um, one, of the, one of them is definitely a silky. It's got the five toes and everything. But the other two, we're thinking they might be sea brights. Um, we got them at Tractor Supply. They said that they were bantams. And my favorite is the one in the back. Oh, you guys. Here, let me open it up. Watch them. over here now that everybody's eating Bonnie is doing great her ligaments in the back are getting um, shorter and shorter so she's going to be due here soon um, probably next month I'm thinking I'm just hoping she'll have the baby before it gets too cold here and then here's our Clyde boy. Clyde boy, hello baby boy. He is just happy to be uh, eaten. And then here is the turkey grow out pen. Let's see if I can get a better shot. Walk around all this stuff. There we go. No. No, I'm not going to get a better shot. So, 
Um, we only got a few of the whites left. We started with 40. Um, we found out between all the issues we've had this year, it started with the rats. And then a lot of them started dying for no reason. And uh, I found out they have what's called chicken pox. Now, it's not a deadly disease, but it can be if they're not good enough or uh, healthy enough. Um, inside here, look at that one puffing up. So, and you could tell by the brown spots on their heads. Let's see if I can get it. Now the three in the back, I have one there that is Mr. and Mrs. Turkey's surviving baby. And then um, before we got rid of Blondie and Thomas, two came out as gray slates. Those are heritage reach. Everything else is the, um, the white broad breasted. Look at him, puppy. Hello, babies. Look at this little one. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go over to the duck pen. Now, uh, I got you guys facing away from the sun, but the sun's in my face. Now, the chicken pox well foul pox is what it's really called um it's something that has to run its course there's nothing i can do except for making sure they have extra electrolytes in their um in their water um we feed them pretty much organic feed anyways because we get it from the local feed store which is fresh and uh we just have to let it run its course. There's nothing else that we can do about it right now. All right, let's get these guys fed. Good morning, guys. All righty, so. Over here, I'm putting the lid back on. If it goes back on, hello. Yeah, it might help if I turned it the right way. <laughs> okay, so Mr. Turkey and Mrs. Turkey are doing great. And as you noticed, the ducks that have the bands on their legs are the ones we grew out for meat. They were able to come in here with no problems now that they're big enough. Baby boy's doing great. It's funny because the first time we uh, put him in here, baby boy went completely nuts and he started herding them into the water. So he has been a really good goose daddy. Even though he's not great at protecting, he's really good at babysitting. Mr. Turkey, you are all showy. Yeah. Alrighty, so inside, as you can tell, we are still flooded. 
can. No. I've been finding eggs, so somebody's laying. So I'm gonna go on an egg hunt here. Good morning, guys. Hi, baby boy. Yeah. <laughs> so, going on an egg hunt. My beauty berries are finally turning. And I'm going to be able to pick these and use them for jam. I'm excited about that. Oh, that'll be my first time doing beauty berries. Um, so, let's see here. I know one of them has been laying. I just don't know which, which duck has been. But also, too, when I go out here, I'm also looking for other tracks that may not be my animals. That's all turkey. There's the swampy area. It's gone down a lot lately, but we're expecting more rain. Hi, guys. What's up? Hi, Mr. Turkey. Boy, you need to get new tail feathers soon. Hi, Mrs. Turkey. Alrighty. But yeah, you can tell it's all duck and turkey. Hi, guys. Mr. Turkey, could I pet you? Huh, oh, baby boy? Huh, oh, yeah, I petted you. <laughs> now he's gonna fall on me. Uh, no eggs here. No. And I look over around here too for any signs. No. No unusual tracks, which is a good sign. All right, guys. So there's the new crew of ducks. <laughs> On a really good note, we're getting a new roof here in September. Late September is what we're scheduled for. They're gonna take out the uh, chimney stack for us because we're taking out the chimney inside and, or the fireplace. I mean, who needs a fireplace in Florida? Please, people. <laughs> it's not that bad. Um, but yeah, we're finally gonna be getting a new roof put onto this place, so that's a exciting news for us. And that is about it. So, just wanted to, you know, give you guys an update on what's going on with the animals. All the stuff we've done since the last, uh, last time you saw everything. Um, we've been trying to keep up with the, uh, the weeds and the grass, as you can tell behind me. We were able to weed, weedy the, uh, some of this stuff. But it keeps raining on us. And then over here, of course, I still have to mow. I had no idea when I'm going to mow. The grass is, it rained last night. So my ditches are all flooded again. I just, it never stops. Never stops here. Summer. Mm -mm. Forget it. It will be always raining. All right, guys. So until the next one. I'll see y'all later. Have a good day.